Yo, what's up guys? Another video on GB12. Didn't expect to make this one, but I got a few suggestions from some viewers and I was wrong on the Swift Melia. I was wrong on it because it is actually possible to make it move twice. But you know what the issue was? My Lucian was too fast. <laughs> so currently this is still like the Vio one. Uh, I've been testing like one versus the other, but let me show you how it should work. So currently with the rune switched, my Amelia is a bit fast, you don't need that much speed. I'll show later in like a sheet which was made by the same guy that made the Tricaro, which kind of speed you need. I will also put that link in the description, but I'm also going to showcase if it's actually better or not. So bear with me for a second. So this is my Lucian right now, slower. The Sath moves just before the other one and we're good to go. So let me show you that this works. Where I said last time it didn't work, so I was wrong. <clears throat> so let me just put it on like auto, so or like a manual. So preferably you amputation magic this. Then last time I said if you use Earth uh, friends, then it won't use uh, or it won't work here that you lap twice. So in this case, one other Melia goes, and then okay, that one is still on fire, and then the Swift Melia goes as well. And then you got the third skill from Tatu. So this actually works. So I actually went through some decent length of testing. Is this actually better than the full Vio set or not? Because it seemed somewhat better. But then I was not that sure. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so I started testing them both. And this is an average of 10. So all of these are averages of 10. So I did... 21 averages of 10 for both sides, which is more than two hours per team Just because I thought it's so close. So at first I thought like, okay, the swift one is really good, right? You got like 35, 33, 39 and then a little bit higher, but like, okay, not bad But here you had like a few higher. So I was like out here. I'm like, okay I'm pretty sure and then wait suddenly we started going lower again So this team is just full of RNG. So you don't know so wait put it Pause this video, put in the comments which you think is faster and by how much, and by how much. Let's see how, if, if anyone is like really close without just doing actual calculation, just looking at this like left to right. So yeah, I'm gonna showcase you what is actually better. Or about the same. <laughs> I did 210 runs. Wait, I did 420 runs. I did 420 runs to end up with pretty much the same average. <laughs> so in the end, whatever you want to run, either Quad Fio or Swift, it's just up to you. But you feel more comfortable with ruining because it's exactly pretty much the same. Also, both of them have the same amount of win rate. The mo like last video, I said like I had some fails here and there. Uh, my Melias weren't um, six star yet. They didn't have artifacts yet, and they had terrible runes. And I switched out fight runes for shield runes, which all of those uh, four things make it really safe. So just if you have all of those, the quadruple vial one is safe. The swift one is also safe. Um, swift one might be a little bit more difficult for people to run because you actually need a decent amount of swift runes. So let me show you what I talked about in how much stats you actually need. So here it is. Of course, I'll put this picture in the description down below. This is by Tiggy Rory. If I pronounce that correct, sorry if I don't. Tiggy Rory, that I guess. So um, he just showcases like, okay, how much speed do you need for how much stats and that kind of stuff, and then how fast is your uh, Melia has to be, how fast is the second Melia has to be, how fast the Seth has to be, and that kind of stuff. You could go for this. You need a decently fast Melia. So if you have a Swift set like left over for that, you could work with that. If you don't, you could just go like quadruple, uh, quadruple Fio. So that's totally up to you. And in the end, it's pretty much the same thing. So now you know. So then another thing I got asked quite some, which was, okay, but what if I do not have a second Melia? Can I use a Pang? I think you can. So let's actually try to use a Pang and I think I should put Pang just one speed above uh, Tatu. So I have to lower down this speed but just a little bit so the Melia also outspeeds the Pang. So you actually have two rotations of Melia. I'm using the Swift one in this rotation. I will also track it with Vio in a second. 
Okay, in this case, I think the Melia should also outspeed the Pang. And we'll take the double turn. So, I haven't tested it, uh, it out yet. I'm going to do it manually. Just to see, like, what is the potential of what's happening. And do you actually have enough dots to kill with this? Um, the thing is, some other people were asking me, is like, uh, can I use Yen or anything? Yes, you can. But if she's using S2, um, she lands dots. But if she's not landing dots by doing S1 or something, then you're going to have an issue. So, okay, we lab that, but I did actually use S1. So I don't want to use S1 uh, next time. So if we do this, we have four dots. Um, most likely you will have four. No, you have like three to four dots, which is normal. So then any skill of this will like duplicate that, duplicate that just once. And that is enough damage. So you actually need, you need 10 dots in total to do enough damage. So I'm actually going to use S1 right now, do this. And then here I'm going to use S2, see if I still lap. So we have one dot. This will provide one or two more dots. Okay. With S2, you actually don't lap. So it is not possible to actually have Melia lap both units. So in this case, I think you still have enough. Yes, in this case, you still have enough dots. So this actually works. Let me test it on auto. Let's see how it works. So it is not possible. Maybe if you uh, slower down uh, both Tatu and Pang, you would actually get on a good speed that it would be fine. But this is a solution that works pretty well. Um, let's actually try this out with Fio like the next turn. Okay, so as long as there are three dots, at least three dots, and Pang multiplies them, then it's already fine. So let's switch it up to Violent and let's see how that works. So currently working with a Violent Melia and Seth is moving in front of it again. So Seth is supposedly landing one dot, Melia is landing two more dots and then you multiply that or you uh, increase the time by one so you have technically nine dots without any procs. That's pretty much the case which, okay, and uh, I put it on this right now so it's actually gonna be a little bit more messy than actually showing what should happen. But I think it should be fine. So let's see how this goes. We got one or two dots. We got one more. She didn't multiply it. Or multiply it extended. Call it extending? Or increasing it. Increasing it. Let's call it increasing. So she didn't increase it. And therefore you got a messy run. But I think it's actually better to have a swift Melia. If you're using this. Because you will end up with more dots. Than if you use the Vio one. I think. Because if you uh, Seth lands one, then Melia lands two, then you extend once, and you would do this, you're at 90% damage. So that's the issue. So if you want to use Peng, I do recommend using the Swift one. Because you're at 90% damage, because you got like one, two, three, you extend those, or you increase those, you're at nine, you do 90% damage. And then you still have to do like the 10% leftover damage from yourself. So if you're using Peng, I highly recommend to use the swift one because it just you have more chance to get at a higher number actually at least that's what i think so when you use double melia vio or swift both is okay if you're using pang i recommend you use the swift melia so that's that then we got one more suggestion from uh a viewers is what if you get lucian into amputation magic range by doing as much damage with Seth as possible I looked into that a little bit, but that seems highly, <laughs> that, that's really difficult because you actually have to do about like 70, 75% of the HP of the crystals with just set as one or as two. Let's see what happens if I throw my current Lucian set on Seth and let's see how much damage he actually does. Okay, this this is not what you want to run. With Swift, it's probably a lot better than this. <laughs> also, of course, with Melia, it's way more consistent because you got way more pushbacks, that kind of stuff. So, yes, you can run it with Pang. Is it that great? No, probably not. But Swift is needed for that one. So then, to talk about, okay, if Seth would have these Lucian runes... Wait, I'm actually going to start these runes on another unit for a second. Which unit is... 
Please don't forget this unit. <laughs> um, yes, so we're gonna give that damage set to Seth. And we're gonna increase it a bit by adding more damage from a slot 6. Probably have a better slot 6 than this. Okay, let's add a lot more damage from this slot, si uh, slot 4. Sorry. Okay, would this be enough? We're not using that many fight sets as of now. Would this be enough to get the Seth into uh, amputation magic range of the Lucian? So let's throw some runes at the Lucian. Let's actually give Lucian the runes. Oh, I'm wasting so much mana. Someone call the mana police. I'm wasting so much mana. No, not this Lucian. Hoo -hoo. Almost wasted more mana, guys. Uh, let's reduce wasting more mana, boys. Wasting more mana. I'm not sure if he's gonna move before the other units, but I'm I'm manual it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just want to see if it gets in range. So if we do this, would we get into an amputation magic? Because units get perfect AI the moment a, uh, the enemy is low enough on HP. So therefore, let's see if this actually works. I don't think so. I think I can make this work in um, SF10. I'm pretty sure I can make this work in SF10. But in this one, it seems pretty impossible. So if we use S2, this is nowhere near amputation magic range. Like nowhere near. You need to do at least double the amount of damage to be even close. Um, if we're going to bring this to SF, small spoiler for SF. Let's see if it actually works there. I think it will work in SF. Um, SF10, yes, same team. I'm pretty sure it would work here. The only issue is... Oh, uh, no, there's actually no issue. So here... No, this is also not Amputation Magic Range. If I... It, I added just there, but it was it was not 100% range. I'm 100% sure about that it was not 100%. <laughs> it's like saying, like, 50% of the time it works 100% of the time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got one unit without runes right now, but... Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Let's try that. If we got a violent Lucian. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. I'm just trying shit. So, no. If I amputation magic this. Yeah, he's amputation magicing. But I'm pretty sure it, it's not the range to actually always amputation magic. Because the range to always amputation magic. I tried that from uh, the old Julie kind of teams. And... You need about like 70% of the unit to be dead to get into an actual range of always working. And that was not 70%, like by all means, not even close. So, of course, as you see, this team works really well here. You don't even have to use Tattoo. The boss gets the, the turn anyway, so you know, everything like that. So, no, that's, that's not going to work. Myth busted. That's not going to work. Then I also got a question, could you Lucian, Julie, or no wait, Julie, Lucian into Amputation Magic Ranch into uh, Double Melia Seth and remove the tattoo? Yes, you could, but it's going to be a super messy run. I'm not really going to tell you, I'm not going to showcase it right now, but I can already tell you that's going to be a super messy run because you're only killing by the one dot and you don't explode. Like the reason tattoo is that good is because you're exploding a stacked dot. So the two turn dot will be 10%, 20% damage, straight up. So you're not gonna have that if you don't use that. And then the middle boss won't die. They will start amputation magicking and uh, the, the third skill of Julie at the middle boss and then your whole wave is trashed. So TL didn't want to watch it. The swift one works just as well as the violent one. Pang version works, but preferably only on the swift one. Um, getting south into a perfect AI range of amputation magic is not gonna happen and I still have to work on a video for SF10 and which I probably have like a slightly different team because I think it could be different than the exact same team but you can use the exact same team probably one tattoo on a will rune or two but besides that can work the same also a small addition let's say you do not have Melia you do not have Pang which unit can you actually fit in to fit that role and I would say pretty much almost no unit unless you can tell me a unit that dots on both skill 1, skill 2 and skill 3 or doesn't have a skill 3 or has perfect AI or anything like that. Because you need a unit that does not derp on the dots. Only unit I can think of is Asima, but the moment you have Asima, 
you probably have those other two units as well. Could be wrong, but Asima is insanely, insanely good for like all of this. But I don't expect people to have Asima. So there's not too many units that actually dot on all three skills. Maybe there's some out there. Maybe some will uh, like be released later. But you kind of need a unit that will always dot no matter what skill they're doing. Um, therefore, again, she, when she has twos, it's good. When she has ones, it's not good. Therefore, Peng is a decent replacement because both her skills trigger her passive. So you need a unit that provides dots by passive. What does Melia do? Dots by passive. What does Seth do? Dots by passive. So that's kind of what you're looking for. So if you want any replacement, because I know that the, the chat is going to be filled like I don't have Melia at second, I don't have Pang, blah, blah, blah. You kind of need a unit that provides dots on passives. That's it for this additional video. I think it's long enough as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.